shivering. You step into the cold, and suddenly you're vibrating like a phone on silent mode. When your body temperature drops, the hypothalamus, your brain's thermostat, sends rapid signals to your muscles, which contract and relax super fast, burning energy and releasing heat. It's basically your body's way of lighting tiny muscle campfires to stay warm. Shivering is your emergency heater. Noisy, awkward, but it works. Teeth chattering. It's basically shivering, but concentrated in your jaw. Contractions slam your teeth together over and over, producing that unmistakable rattle. Hiccups. You're sitting in a perfectly quiet room when suddenly everyone stares. You didn't plan it, but your body just dropped a glitchy sound effect. That's a hiccup, an involuntary spasm of your diaphragm, the dome-shaped muscle that powers breathing. The spasm sucks in air, your vocal cords slam shut, and out pops the squeak. Triggers? Eating too fast? Fizzy drinks? Sudden temperature swings? Or sometimes nothing at all? Your diaphragm just throws a tantrum. Scientists still argue about why hiccups exist, but one theory is that they're a leftover reflex from our fishy ancestors. Basically, a software bug that never got patched. Brain freeze. You take a sip of something ice cold and bam, a sharp headache hits your forehead. That's sphenopalatine ganglioneuralgia, better known as brain freeze. Cold liquid chills the roof of your mouth causing nearby blood vessels to shrink, then rapidly expand. This sudden change activates the trigeminal nerve, which carries pain signals from your face. But the nerve misroutes the signal. Instead of mouth pain, your brain interprets it as forehead pain. That's called referred pain, like your body filing a bug report to the wrong department. Leg cramps. You stretch in bed at night, and suddenly your calf feels like it's trying to crush itself. That's a leg cramp, a sudden involuntary muscle spasm when nerves fire the contract signal, but forget the relax. Triggers include fatigue, dehydration, low electrolyte levels, or an imbalance of minerals such as calcium, sodium, or magnesium. The muscle locks up until the system finally resets. It is like a stuck key on your keyboard, repeating the same letter until you press the escape key. Leg cramps are your muscles caught in a painful software loop. Hypnic jerk. You're drifting off, muscles relaxing, when suddenly your entire body jolts like you just fell off a cliff. This is a hypnic jerk, a brief involuntary muscle contraction that hits as you transition into sleep. Your body is trying to log off, but the nervous system hasn't fully switched modes. As muscles relax, the brain sometimes misreads it as falling. In panic, it fires an emergency, grab something. That's why the jolt often comes with a falling dream or sudden scare. Basically, it's your brain running a false alarm drill. Sleep paralysis. You wake up in the middle of the night, eyes wide open, but your body is frozen. No matter how hard you try, nothing moves. That's sleep paralysis. Your brain is awake, but your body is still locked in sleep mode. Here's why. During the REM sleep phase, your brain is buzzing with activity. To keep you from acting out dreams, the brainstem shuts down most motor neurons, causing muscle atonia or temporary paralysis. Your lungs and eyes keep working, but everything else is offline. Sleep paralysis occurs when your consciousness returns before the paralysis fades. Basically, your brain reboots faster than your body. Sleepwalking. It's 2 a.m., and instead of peacefully dreaming, you're roaming the hallway like a zombie. Your brain is still in deep sleep, but the body lock fails. So you walk, talk, maybe raid the fridge or even fry eggs with zero memory the next morning. Sleepwalking, also known as somnambulism, typically occurs in the first part of the night during deep, slow-wave sleep. It's the opposite of sleep paralysis. Here, the body is mobile while the mind is mostly offline. Why does it happen? Genetics is a significant factor. It often runs in families. External triggers include sleep deprivation, stress, fever, or certain meds that disrupt deep sleep. Children are especially prone as they spend more time in deep sleep. 
ear ringing. You leave a loud concert and suddenly your ears are screaming with a high pitched That's tinnitus or ear ringing. It happens when tiny hair cells in your inner ear, the ones that detect sound, yet get overstimulated or damaged. Instead of sending silence, they continue to send signals to the brain. Your auditory cortex reads that noise as sound, even though nothing's there. It is like a microphone stuck in a feedback loop. Ear ringing is just your auditory system ghost playing a track that doesn't exist. For some people, the ringing fades in hours. However, for others, especially those with repeated noise damage, it can persist for months or even years. That's when tinnitus stops being a glitch and becomes a constant background track. Goosebumps. A chill breeze hits. And suddenly your skin spikes. That's goosebumps. Tiny muscles at the base of each hair called erector pili, contract and pull the hairs upright. In animals with thick fur, this reaction traps heat, making them appear larger to scare off threats. In humans, we lost most of the fur, but the reflex stuck around. The trigger comes from the sympathetic nervous system, the fight or flight network that also raises your heart rate under stress. Cold, fear, or strong emotions can all activate it. So goosebumps are basically ancient survival software still running on modern skin. Numbness. You wake up on your arm and it feels like it's turned into dead weight. That's numbness. It occurs when pressure pinches nerves or restricts blood flow, thereby blocking signals between the body and brain. Without those messages, your arm goes offline. No sensation, no control. Once circulation returns, the nerves reboot often accompanied by the sensation of pins and needles. Numbness is like pulling the plug on your keyboard. Nothing responds until you plug it back in. Fasciculations. Your eyelid starts twitching like it's sending secret Morse code. That's a fasciculation, a tiny, involuntary contraction of muscle fibers. They occur when motor neurons misfire on their own. Stress, fatigue, or way too much caffeine can make your nervous system extra jittery like it's double-clicking send by mistake. Most of the time it's harmless. It only feels strange because you're not in control. And of course it always happens when you're trying to look calm in a serious meeting. Phosphonies. You rub your eyes a little too hard. And suddenly, fireworks. Those flickering dots and patterns are called phosphonies. Here's what's happening. Pressure on the eyeball mechanically stimulates the retina the light-sensitive tissue at the back of your eye. Normally, retinal cells fire when photons hit them, but pressure can also depolarize these cells, tricking them into sending electrical signals as if real light were present. Your visual cortex then interprets those false signals as light. Tremor. You're in an argument, adrenaline spiking, and suddenly your hands start to shake like they're auditioning for a horror movie? That's a tremor an involuntary rhythmic muscle shake. Stress hormones like adrenaline and cortisol flood your system, speeding up heart rate, breathing, and glucose release. Your motor circuits, especially the basal ganglia and cerebellum, get noisy, firing signals unevenly. As a result, your hands literally broadcast your stress until the body powers down from fight or flight mode. That extra electrical noise makes your motor neurons fire unevenly, it's your body gearing up to fight, flee, or freeze. Most tremors are harmless. They fade once the threat is gone and your body calms down. Motion sickness. You're scrolling your phone in a moving car when the world tilts. Nausea hits like a wave. That's motion sickness. It happens when your vestibular system in the inner ear senses motion, but your eyes report stillness. The brainstem receives these conflicting inputs and interprets the mismatch as a potential threat, possibly toxins affecting balance control. To protect you, it activates nausea and vomiting centers just in case. Your brain isn't confused and it's overcautious, a survival system that mistakes reading for being poisoned. So which of these glitches have you experienced? Let me know in the comments. If you love this video, you will probably like my other ones. Check them out. Thanks for watching and see you next time.